What's going on guys? Alan here with DustyHikers.com. Today we're going to talk about the Keen Targi Vent and the Oboe's Sawtooth 2. We're just going to do a head-to-head -head review of these two shoes. Quick and dirty. Um, I've had these shoes for about a year and I've spent quite a bit of time in them, in both of them. And uh, so if you're undecided between the Oboe Sawtooth 2 or the Keen Targi Vent, this is definitely a video that you want to check out. Spend the next couple minutes with me to make your decision on which one is best for you. Okay, so the first question would be, uh, how much money do you have? If you're like me, uh, money is uh, a barrier. <laughs> and so you might be looking at these and wondering, you know, which one's less expensive. So the Oboes, this version right here that I have, which is the non Gore-Tex version, these come in at like $115 on REI.com right now, which I think is a steal. I'm not quite sure why they're so low. I think I purchased these a year ago for more than that. Um, and the Keen Targi Vent are like $155. So they're $40 more on REI.com. I have links in the description uh, so you can go check out the current pricing whenever you watch this video. Um, I would say that the Oboe Sawtooth 2 is a much better value because they're very, very similar shoes. These are beefy, boot-like hiking shoes, both of them. Um, so they don't have rock plates or anything like that. They're just big, beefy, lots of support, lots of uh, cushioning and padding. And so the best bang for your buck I would definitely say is the Oboe, Oboe Sawtooth 2. So if price is a big uh, issue for you, then definitely go with these. Okay, next question. Are your feet wide? Do you have big, wide feet? Then you definitely wanna go with the Keen Targi Vent. These things are massive. <laughs> they have a huge, huge toe box. And so if you have wide feet, uh, you probably wouldn't even need to get these in the wide, honestly, unless you're gonna use really, really big uh, socks. The um, Oboes are also quite, uh, you know, generous, but they're much more snug on my foot. And I have kind of like just a normal foot. So these are a little bit narrower than the Keen Targi Vents. Okay, next question. How heavy is your backpack? If you have a very heavy backpack, then I would say maybe the Keen Targi Vents would be better. But uh, now, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go with the Oboe Saw Sawtooth 2. I'm gonna go with these because I love these shoes way more than the Keen Targi Vent. So every, I think on this one, it's really just a toss up. Whichever one is most comfortable for you, I found that the Oboe Sawtooth 2 to be way more comfortable than the Keen Targi Vent. Uh, they kind of like hug your foot on the, on the back end here. So there's a really uh, good grip on your heel. There's like no heel slippage and you're gonna be able to, I think, this, this shoe's gonna just work for a lot more people, I believe, and it's cheaper. Hey, if you're finding something useful and this is helping you make a dis really important buying decision, then please hit like on this video. I'm also trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so please consider hitting subscribe. I am in the process of testing five more hiking shoes, so I'm gonna do a big hiking shoe video review in about four weeks at this point, and so you'll definitely wanna check that out. Okay, next question. How aggressive are the trails that you're planning on going? Are you gonna be bushwhacking, or are they just well-groomed trails? So if you're gonna be like bouldering a little bit and going over rocks and rough terrain, um, I would say that either of these shoes could work for you. I tested all, I tested both of these shoes a year ago against three other shoes, and they, they both performed quite well on protection underfoot. Again, they don't have, um, rock plates, they just have really beefy rubber soles. And so, you know, I think they're very similar. You can even see like this mesh interlaced with the, wet, the leather uppers. And the Keen Targi Vent has essentially the exact same thing. Um, there is this rand here on the Keen Targi Vent that goes all the way across the bottom of, of your foot right here. And the Oboes have something similar, but it doesn't quite extend all the way up. So I think it's kind of a toss up as far as protection. If you're gonna be like going off trail, I think that these would be similar uh, for, your, for your needs. Okay, next question. How important is comfort for you? If comfort's very important, like it is for me at 51, you definitely wanna go with the Obo Sawtooth 2. I found these shoes to be way more comfortable than the Keen Targi Vent. There's more padding underneath your foot. I feel like, again, this whole area just kind of like hugs your foot in a way that feels really good. Um, I like this uh, kind of like hard, thick leather um, heel, um, 
like a, a, a like a heel pouch back here. I think that works really well, and you can lace these up very nice and get a really really good. Uh, fit for your foot. The Keen Target Event, on the other hand, are, are just going to be a little bit sloppier, and I didn't feel that there was as much uh, padding underfoot in these. Um, so, if comfort is a big concern, I would definitely go with the Oboe Sawtooth 2, and you're going to save 40 bucks. Finally, as always, the last question Do you want to look good on the trail? When I first got these, I thought they looked like some kind of like moon boot kind of thing, and I was, I was not into it. But the more I wore them and, and it, uh, got some miles in them, I really, really started to love them. And I think they do look cool. It's a very, you know, li like the Keen. So Keen has this like toe cap and all of this. You can just, you can see, you can spot Keens like a mile away. Like as soon as you see that, you know, all oh, those are Keens, right? With the toe cap and just the way that they're built, kind of clunky, like something Homer Simpson would wear to the, to the church potluck. Uh, these shoes, on the other hand, are not quite as clunky. They are big and beefy, there's a lot of padding, but they feel a little more svelte on your feet. Uh, so you're gonna be, I think, just a little bit more nimble in these than you would in the Keen Targ event. Okay, that's the end of the video. I will see you guys in the next one.